Chris 6 News at Noon continues. Hey, we're back. Last week, the Clayburg County Sheriff's Department started receiving calls in regards to a jury summons scam. We've got Kelly Trevino here from the Better Business Bureau. Uh, what the world is going on with that? Uh, well, we started to receive calls that uh, on President's Day, no less, mm -hmm. that they were receiving some, uh, Sheriff's Department was receiving some calls from consumers that were being told that they had two misdemeanors for failing to appear uh, before a federal grand jury mm -hmm. um, uh, for jury summons. Um, this was not true, but a few people, from my understanding, fell for it and we're and out some money. Now, they were saying, okay, so if you, you didn't show up for jury duty, the remedy here, though, is give it's us some money. pay a fine, and so from uh. my understanding, credit cards were, uh, numbers were given over the phone, and that's where the problem lies. And I suspect they do that on, on a day like President's Day because all the county and federal officers are closed. You can't verify that, right? Exactly, because Better Business Bureau says, well, verify. Yeah. Uh, if, you get a, if you get a call like this, did you get a summons in the mail? Maybe you forgot it or lost it somewhere, but verify. So on a holiday like this, you really can't, you can't trust do a it. phone call. All right, we don't want you to become a victim. So Kelly's got some things we're gonna share real quickly here. First of all, you say don't trust a phone call. Yeah, don't trust that phone call, especially if it's on a holiday. Mm -hmm. uh, verify if that call is coming from someone uh, that is actually with uh, anyone that can do. And if you can't, just wait. I mean, don't. And just wait. If wait it's till a the next holiday, day. You can wait. But what happens is these scammers make you feel like they're going to be knocking on your door. There's nothing further from the truth. All you right. should have received a summons in the mail. And don't give out your personal information. If they no. say, we've got to know your social security number to verify that this is you, don't do it. Uh, no, uh, uh, they are not going to call you from a county clerk's office asking for a social security number or even your date of birth. Mm -hmm. So don't give that information. Again, if you're really curious um, or you really think there is something, call the county clerk's office the day that it's open. Okay, and we don't want you to go to jail, so wire us some money. Do not Kelly wire says money. no. <laughs> ever. Um, ever, ever, ever. Uh, do not wire money to someone you don't know because you're not going to get that money back. It's no different than handing a stranger cash on the mm -hmm. street. You're and I, I imagine it's the same thing with the last one here. Don't give your credit information. Uh, right, again, your credit card information, uh, once you give that out, um, it's it can be taken like that. Mm -hmm. And they can spend thousands of dollars on your credit card before you get a chance to actually shut it down. So never give out your credit card information if someone contacts you. You. Okay. Uh, only if you're actually calling someone to purchase something. All right. Somebody gets a call like that, what should they do? Uh, you can report that to BBB Scam Tracker. Also mm -hmm. call the Sheriff's Department in your county or the county clerk's office and verify. All right. You got a question. There's Kelly's information. It is also, ladies and gentlemen, on our website, ChrisTV.com. If you want to read more about this, just go there, check it out. And uh, if you need to contact Kelly, be sure to do that either through email or by giving her a call. Kelly, good stuff. Thank Appreciate you. it.